the Fourth Great Ninja War began. Allied shinobi forces clashed with powerful reanimated warriors in a horrific battle between the living and the dead. Naruto could sense the war even without being notified, and, together with Killer B, quickly departed their sanctuary. Harnessing the Tailed Beast power in Nine Tails Chakra Mode, he set out for the battlefield along with Killer Bee. Before they could arrive, the Raikage A and Tsunade appeared in order to block their path. We're here to stop you! We can't let you go any further! If you insist upon trying to go, then right here, I will destroy you! I've got a lot up my sleeve. I'm gonna win this battle for sure. What are you saying? This battle is to protect you two. If you were captured, it would mean the end of the world. Iruka Sensei told me. Then why are you heading toward the battle? Are you that stupid? Well, bear the thought of everyone suffering for that. Even if we win, if everyone's dead besides me, then what's the point? I don't want that. Being Jinchuriki, your lives are not just your own. You're the power balance of the country, the strength of the villages. You're special to them. You can't just do whatever you please. Know your places, you colossal idiots! When I harnessed the power of Ninetales, my dad let me meet my mom. He left Chakra behind so that when the Ninetales seal was opened, my mom could come see me, you know? It was only for a moment, but the two of them gave me something. Something so big that they made me believe I could do it. So I won't fail. Naruto had inherited skills from his parents. So too had Killer B inherited skills from A. They knew they could not lose as long as they retained those things. They boldly declared this to A. Let's go! A threw a punch toward Naruto at full force, but Naruto evaded it with an impressive dodge. That technique, known as Yellow Flash of the Leaf, brought to mind his father, Minato. Having passed the test, a allowed them to join the war. <laughs> Having persuaded the Raikage, Naruto and Killer B set out for the battlefield once more. On the way, they came across two unexpected figures. Nagato, who had tormented Naruto with the Six Paths of Pain, and Sasuke's elder brother, Itachi. 
Both of them had been reanimated by Kabuto. Hmm. Summoning Jutsu! Itachi was released from his reanimated state through Koto Amatsukami, a genjutsu of the highest caliber which had once been stored in Naruto. Nagato, under the control of Kabuto, attacked Naruto and Killer B with the power of Renegon. With Itachi now on their side, they engaged Nagato in combat. How dare you force me to fight him! He's back to full power. Naruto! I'm too dangerous like this. You better defeat me! Quickly! Yeah, no kidding. Naruto's wound got right! He'll put you out for the night! I'm gonna seal you now. Watch me carefully. I know you can do this! It's about time. Sorry about all this. Just before being sealed, Nagato regained his senses. Promising to watch over Naruto's story, he declared it would become a great masterpiece. I'll put a stop to this war on my own. On your own? No matter how strong you get, don't ever try to take it all on alone. If you do, you're guaranteed to fail. Simply becoming Hokage won't make everyone accept you. Everyone's acceptance is what gets you there. Never forget your friends. In the meantime, Gara and the Tsuchikage had gained the upper hand in a fight against Kages from the past. But a new shinobi who had been reanimated turned the tide against them. It was Madara, the man known as the legend of the Uchiha. The renowned ninja's overwhelming power devastated the allied shinobi forces. I fought him before. I'm the perfect match for him.
No, that won't do. The ninja world depends on this battle. I'm fighting too. And so am I! <laughs> Normally I tell you to butt out, but with him as an opponent, I'll make an exception. Kazekage! Naruto! We're stopping him! I thought you learned long ago not to tell you. You think I haven't changed since then? You'll be gravely mistaken. I will defeat you and pick myself up. I will smash you into pieces all over again. Don't underestimate the Sujikage! The world does not need to move anymore than it has. It simply needs to sleep within the eternal Tsukuyori. You're the one who will sleep. Don't get your hopes up, old man. Earth style, super lightened boulder jutsu. This is thanks for entertaining me. I shall blow you clean away! But against Madara's unimaginable might, Naruto, Gara, and the Chuchikagi Onoki were all pushed to their limits. Tsunade and the Raikage stormed in to lend their support, once again uniting all five Kage on a single battlefield. Leave this Madara to us. We'll settle this quickly. I leave the other Madara to you as a step toward hope for the future. We will protect you on this battlefield, so you go to the other side and fight to protect us. Naruto, this is our message to you. Victory is ours! The ninja villages, once separate, now join together in an alliance. This may lead to an end to the chaos and hatred of the ninja world. Entrusting Naruto with the fight against Tobi, the five Kage faced off against Madara. Using his Renegon Jutsu to control reanimated Jinchuriki, Tobi prepared for battle.
Sent by the five Kage, Naruto and Killer B encountered Tobi and steeled themselves for battle. And I'm gonna enjoy ripping that mask off of you! To remove this mask, you will have to break bones. Both of you Madaras! What do you mean, both of you? This guy's the only Madara, right? Right? The real Madara appeared on another battlefield. Which means you're a fake. Tell me, who are you? I've been chilling on the sidelines. And I don't want to be anyone. All that matters now is that Project Tsukinobu succeeds. There is but no reason to exist in this hopeless world. You, Jin Chu, were forced to host the tailed beasts and have only no despair. Or am I mistaken? I am certain that you all have some understanding of the despair of which I speak. Let's go, B! No problem, yo! Bloom away! Eight tails, that be me, the rapping killer bee. Ooh wee! <sighs> Tail bees, eight twists. Go. Just as they were about to counterattack. Toby forced three of the Jinchuriki to fully transform and begin a ferocious assault. You're done. Super Leaf Adamantine Hurricane! Even under the overwhelming onslaught, Naruto managed to communicate with the beast known as Four Tails. The beast revealed to Naruto that Nine Tails' true name was Kuruma, which made Naruto deeply desire friendship. Naruto's greatest desire was to befriend the tailed beasts. I'm gonna take care of that hatred in you someday. This softened Kurama's heart and heart and convinced him to cooperate. You're not a demon fox anymore. You're my partner. Kurma! Anyway, let's get going. The power of the Nine Tails. Karma, let's go! Hey, let me get this clear. I'm not about to sit around and do nothing at a time like this. Our first meeting the day that this state isn't perfect. So, this is for the last time. Enough! Everything I can to 
to make sure you lose! Resist all you want, you still have the future. <laughs> I can see the future with my own eyes. Your eyes are blind to it! As the battle intensified, Naruto directly addressed the tailed beasts and Jinchuriki under Tobi's control. They revealed their names to him and entrusted him with the future relationship between humans and tailed beasts. Honoring their trust, Naruto successfully released them from the Jinchuriki. Slowly but surely, his growth began to exceed Tobi's expectations. Tobi began to fear that his plans were unwinding. As the battle with Tobi unfolded, Sasuke, who had awakened his eternal Mangekio Sharingan, set out for the battlefield. Along the way, he happened upon Itachi, who had been reanimated. He was on his way to Kabuto's hideout to put a stop to the chaos that his reanimation was causing. Sasuke poured out his feelings to the brother he had long thought to be dead. Itachi was sparing in his response. The two brothers soon found themselves squaring off against Kabuto together. Kabuto had injected Orichimaru's cells into himself in the hopes of surpassing his former master's power. Appalled by Kabuto's transformation, Sasuke braced himself for the battle with Itachi at his side. Itachi. You always told me later, and next time, and then you died. So this time, I'll make sure you keep that promise. Right. Go on. Tremble before my power. The power of a sage. I can't believe you got the power of sage mode. As I recall, you hated each other. Now you plan to fight me side by side. I've gained perfect power. Let's see how long you last against me. Is this it? All you've done is implant Orochimaru's left arm. Still worse than the original. <laughs> Did you think it was the full extent of my powers? Take our goal and make him undo the reanimation. Don't overdo it. He seems to have acquired Orochimaru's power. He won't die so easy. Don't bother! What are you aiming at? Well done. But I have been perfected. And a little wound like this. Ugh. Is nothing to me. Impressive powers of recovery. What now? Leave it to me. I'll trap him with a visual jutsu.
A visual jutsu? What are you? <laughs> you don't really have time to talk, you know. Sage art, inorganic reanimation! That's... My sensory abilities are superior to what they were. No. What a wonderful situation. <laughs> hmm. Sage Art, white extreme attack! <clears throat> a jutsu that freezes movement with light. Sound and vibration. I was prepared for it, and I can move freely. Now I'll just... <laughs> huh? How did you manage that? I can read your movements. Now I'll control you. Control. Is this the visual jutsu you are talking about? What are you trying to do? The ultimate visual jutsu, one that controls his fate. Hmm. Nonsense. He's a nummy! <laughs> you seem to be planning something, but nothing you do can affect me now. I have every ability there is. No one can touch me. <gasps> Sasuke, stay close to me. Itachi, I assume you're here to lift the reanimation. But, unfortunately, things won't go your way. Because if you think you've become a god, controlling life and death, you're very much in error. You think this jutsu is perfect, but it has a weakness. Does it really? That's very interesting. Would you mind telling me what it is for future reference? This jutsu has one weakness, one risk. Over uh, me. Uh, <laughs> burnout. Uh, let me fight. No matter how hard you fight, it won't work on me. I'm perfection itself! Since you don't know the true power of the Uchiha, nothing you say means anything. Is it easy to ready yet? I am preparing it, but I need a little more time. Lord Orochimaru! Take this! Let me fight. This way. Matarasu. Again. Fire stop. Fireball. Huh.
Sasuke! Darkness hounded your brother to his doom. You can't forget that. I know exactly how you feel. I'm the same way. I understand. Don't listen to him, Sasuke. He's an even better liar than I am. Besides, no matter what darkness the village holds, I am Itachi Uchiha of the Hidden Leaf. Take this! Inferno-style flame control! Over here. Over here. Burnout. This battle is all but decided. You lose, Kabuto. Not yet. I have Lord Orochimaru's power! As I have said, I can read your movements. Now I'll begin Izanami. And I told you that everything was under my control. You're no exception! Sasuke, stay close to me. Well, deja vu. And I'm sick of it! Sasuke, stay close to me. What? What is this? You've fallen prey to my visual jutsu. Impossible. I am perfect. I could never... Don't you see? You're nowhere near perfect. Itachi Uchiha! He can't escape from this loop. This is Izanami, the jutsu that determines fate.
I can finally see. The end. Father. Mother. We parted ways long ago. But now... Those who cannot accept themselves are doomed to fail. Those such as Kabuto. And my own past self. Yes, what Kabuto is doing now is a mistake. However, to condemn him alone is also a grave mistake. I pray that, unlike myself, he realizes this before death claims him. Tsukuyomi. After subduing Kabuto, Itachi had him perform the seals to dispel the reanimation jutsu. As Itachi began to dissolve, Sasuke said that he could never forgive the hidden leaf for what it did to him. He explained that although he understood Itachi's wishes, he must still destroy the village that Itachi once protected. No matter what you become, I will always love you. Thank <laughs> you. 